Um, where to start? Where to start? This is the first video, huh? We'll see what we can talk about here. Well, I guess we'll talk about the bike since that's what this is really about. Um, I've always wanted a bike ever since I was little. Uh, I think it's just badass. I don't know what to tell you. Um, so, I really wanted the bike. I decided to take the uh, California Motorcycle Safety Program at Bartels. It's a three-day course where they really teach you how to ride a motorcycle. Because I didn't have any experience really before this. I knew how to ride a dirt bike, and I've done it a couple times. But riding on the streets a little different. So the class, I think, prepares you adequately for it. Um, there's more class that you can take to um, learn more about it, which I do plan on doing because they are so much fun. But, uh, so, I always knew I was going to get a Harley. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I love American-made vehicles. I know they're probably made in Mexico, but it's really about that name brand, um, American-made. Because with that comes a certain throatiness to it that I just I appreciate you know like that grumble my truck has that nice grumble this bike has this nice grumble um, so we're gonna scratch my peg a little bit here just to get in the habit of it anyways it is brisk out though I will tell you that my nipples are a little hard. Anyways, um, so I knew I was going with a Harley just because of that stance. And another reason why I always was going to get a Harley is because I've been out here in L.A. and I get to see how people treat different motorcyclists. And I just see that people don't give crotch rockets or ricers the same type of respect that a Harley gets. You know, and I think it's really about that respect for me. And uh, on top, third reason, if I got a bike that did that fast, come on, I'd kill myself on that thing. I mean, this bike goes pretty fast. It's got 120 on the dash. I feel like I could definitely take it past 120. But I don't want to. Maybe not just yet. Just yet. I'm still learning. I'm still learning. Speaking of just learning, I did almost uh, eat shit the other day. I feel like I should go hit up Chick Fil A for some breakfast and then go on a little cruise. That sounds like a great game plan. All right, so what's gonna happen is, I'm actually gonna wait for it to go green and then try and whip around this guy. Um, yeah, so I was coming around in a U-turn, not a U-turn, a roundabout, I guess. And it, uh, it was a pretty steep turn. I don't know if I pushed the bike past its limits possible to go, or if it was something that I did with the user input, but, <coughs> Excuse me. I uh, felt the back tire start to hobble around and bounce a little bit, so I straightened up and slammed on the brakes. It was a little intense. Woo! Close! Still learning! The work of my kin, old Loaded. and boy folk, toying somewhere between love and abuse, calling to join them the wretched and joyful. Okay, so you can easily die on this motherfucker just to let you guys know that shit. Anyways. Um, I will be tuning out a lot in these videos because I have to focus on what I'm doing. My hands are being used by various activities. And uh, so it's cool. But let me tell you, I wasn't 100% sure that I was going to get a bike until I took that fucking class. At that point, uh, they put me on a Harley. 
they let me uh, ride it around for class. You know, it was a little Sportster 500. So, I got to do that. And then I was like, I have to get a bike. And then the guys at Bartels were very friendly, awesome, great service. Uh, they let me test ride a couple of their bikes. So I test rode, uh, or test rode <laughs> the Street Bob and the Low Rider. And it really, I guess, came down to brakes for me. I just felt like ABS couldn't go wrong with ABS. Because, you know, new rider, don't want to lock up the front tire, and all that good stuff. Oh, it ain't too busy here. Oh, you fucked up, buddy. I'm going to show you how it's done. Watch this shit. Try to get some chick fill. You make your own goddamn shit. Right here. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to go enjoy this food. And I'll be back with you guys. Oh, yeah. I was at that light talking for a long time about taking the class, safety and stuff. I really recommend that you do it. Um, just because it's good to learn how to drive from an instructor. But you can't. The problem with this is like in a car, you have an adult to tell you what you're doing wrong. You know, even if you're driving a stick shift, you have an adult to tell you what you're doing wrong or when to brake, shit like this. So, I don't know, I hate passing the police. Anyways, the reason why I like this is it's because it's very solidarity. I don't know if the word, the word is, but you know what I mean. Like, you're, you're alone. The learning curve on this is extremely small because you have to learn all this by yourself. And either you do or you don't. And I don't really think there's an in-between. At least out here, because in L.A. we have such a variety of roads that, you know, you really got to be able to handle a couple of different types of roads. Canyons, freeways, mountains, hills. The bike itself is a Harley Davidson 2017 lowrider. Um, it's awesome. I fucking love it. I got it with 21 miles on the odometer. It was like 500 and something. So I passed my break-in period, which is nice. And uh, we put some hand guards on it. We adjusted the handle bars a little bit to give me a little more height on them. Because I kind of like that uh, fist in the air type style. All right. Anyways. Let's see. So I don't know what I'm going to do with the format of these videos. What I've been thinking is go on a cruise, talk about some stuff, and then um, talk about some stuff, then post some pictures on Instagram because I'm really having a hard time figuring out how to tie in the two. So I'm thinking I'm going to... Instagram the views and stuff small little things and stories post the videos and uh, Yeah, it's pretty much the game plan So if you guys have any thoughts, I mean I'm always open to ideas and considerations also if You guys do ride motorcycles especially out here in LA if you could tell me what's uh What I'm doing wrong. I love listening to that and since we're talking about this, since we're talking about this, I think it's very, very important to address. Shit talkers. There are people on Instagram and uh, Twitter, I don't know, all types of social media, I guess. They just like to talk shit. 
Hey, I like to talk shit too. I know what you, I know. And then there was like the people who, they cyber bully, I guess. That's what you're trying to call it. Uh, that's why my sister turned off her comments. I leave mine on because I actually enjoy hearing that type of stuff. It makes me laugh because you guys have got nothing better to do with your life than to comment that stuff on my profile. That means I'm on your goddamn mind. Look at that view. Ah, that's beautiful. Love the beach. Oh, yeah. Anyways, so I love it. I usually love reading these the comments and I laugh at them. I send them to people and stuff. My favorite, but I do appreciate you guys trying to defend me and my sister. I think it's futile because you really, uh, let me close this. You really, you're fighting a losing battle. Because you can defend me in one area, but then somebody else is going to try and attack us in another. So, it's cool, you know, but I, I appreciate it. Because when I'm home alone, or with my cousins at night, and we, uh, <laughs> we're just chilling. I open up my Instagram, and I try to find the most hateful comments I can. And, oh, that plane's taking off. That looks so dope. It's going in the cloud, baby. And we laugh. We talk a lot of shit about it. Um, so, I don't know. Uh-oh. Maybe I'll uh, I'll post some of my favorite. Still going. Maybe I'll uh, post some of my favorite bad comments. While we're talking about social media, um, there's a lot of fan accounts that I definitely see popping up a lot in my uh, feed. The most common is like Francis Birding, Shitty Extraterrestrial. And I don't know 100% what they do because I still don't understand social media that well. But I low-key fuck with Francis Burning. I think he or she has a pretty funny personality. Uh, actually never having talked or met with Francis Burning. So there's that. And then Shitty Extraterrestrial, I've seen you make some really good memes, so... Props to you. Props to you. Uh. Anyways. Anyways. That was very good.
the gun is cocked All right. as the bullets cold where the miles are marked in the blood and the gold boy out. I'll meet you further on up the road got on my dead man's suit my smiling skull ring My lucky graveyard boots And a song to sing I got a song to sing It keeps me out of the cold So I've decided to take my and gloves off and the little man go I wish I put my phone in my pocket Further on right. up the road Let's chill. Further on up the road. Make sure I still got my gloves in. Phone, yeah, we go. Where the way is dark and the night is cold. One sunny morning we'll rise, I know. And I'll meet you further on up the road. All right. So. Uh, I love feedback, negative, positive, whatever you guys got. I want to make these videos as interesting as I possibly can. Um, I like talking. I like talking about different things, but uh, I keep a lot of my personal life private. But I want to talk a little bit about my life, so uh, yeah. I reached down in my pocket and pulled out my shiny 44. Shot that, that motherfucker, motherfucker twice! He hit the goddamn, goddamn flow. About that time you could have heard the drop of a penny. That's, That's when that bad motherfucker Billy Lyons walked in. That's a nice dog. Time a pip eased up and turned, turned out, out the lights. That's when I had Billy Lines did in my sights. When the lights come turned back, back on, on, old Billy won the rest. I put nine of my bullets in his motherfucking chest. Mm -hmm.